Yeah, what? Why? Hey everyone, welcome to our third beautiful day in Germany. Today we'll be spending a few hours in the history-packed Bavarian city of Nuremberg. Today is an incredibly exciting day because we'll be traveling from Germany to Czech Republic, but we decided to make a pit stop in Nuremberg to experience Bavaria's rich culture. We packed our bags to wrap up our stay in my cousin's small village, so get ready for a day of unexpected memories. And good morning. Guten Morgen. I should have your photo. Look. Wow, that's so good. Wait. That's a good photo. Good job, Lenny. One more time. One more time? Okay. So, this is the third day. This is our third day in Germany. And we're getting ready. We're packing up from Schweinfurt. And we're going to go to Nuremberg today. We're taking the train to Nuremberg. Yeah. Are you excited, Lenny? Yeah. And then after that, we're going to spend a few hours in Nuremberg. And oh take, my gosh. take the bus to Prague. We're getting ready to eat breakfast. And then we're going to go, right? Push stick time? At 11 or 12 o'clock. Yeah. You ready? Like, I will put that in. Okay. Throw that Let's in. Let's go. Hi. Hi. How's the day? It's so good. Breakfast schmeckt so good. After our breakfast, we packed up our stuff and made our way to the train station to catch our 11.47 a.m. train. Okay, so what are we doing right now? We're going to the train station. So we're going to Nuremberg on the train today, right? And there's a train station right outside our house, kind of. Yep. We just have to walk down the hill that we live on. Mm -hmm. um, it takes 10 minutes. Takes 10 minutes. So yeah, we're walking down the hill. This beautiful hill. Okay. Well, we got to hurry up because we got to make it to the train station. Yep. Um, take the train. I will see you in the station. Today we're going to board the train and transfer at Bamberg station and then take another train that will take us straight down to the city center of Nuremberg. Hello. Hey, get, don't trip. Oh, okay. Don't go over this Yeah, it's dangerous, right? I don't go over this white line. As a North American, I was amazed at the connectivity of public transport throughout Europe. And I'm sure throughout this series, you'll discover that too. So let's board the train together, sit back, and relax with rural Germany outside our window. One hour, then we're gonna to get to Nuremberg, right? Yay! Look at all the villages. Okay. Oh, oh, is map. Captain. <laughs> With Lenny's shoelaces nice and tied, the train conductor came over to check our tickets. In Germany, you can ask for some fun children's tickets, so my aunt asked for some to give to Lenny. But the conductor was super nice and offered children's tickets to all four of us, so we gladly accepted some nice, colorful Kinderfahrkarten. Next thing you know, we were pulling into Bamberg station, getting ready to transfer. Okay. Of course, we needed a washroom break, but our Canadian selves are in for quite a surprise. 
Oh, look at these beautiful washroom people. Look at these washroom models. You need to use the washroom, but as we've been told in Europe, public washrooms need money. I think it returns you 50 cents after you come out. Wow, this is so complex to use the washroom. Okay, tell me how to go is to buy. Okay, so I don't need to go, but apparently, so through this machine, you pay to use the washroom, but it's, yes? What? What? Yeah, yeah what? Why? It cleans by itself? Yeah. Should I try it? Yeah. Okay, I guess I'm trying it. Okay, sorry, my phone died. So I don't need to go. It's okay. But apparently, they have washrooms that clean themselves. Now, we definitely knew that public toilets were mostly paid in Europe. But self-cleaning toilets were definitely not on our radar. Um, yeah, where'd my mom go? Oh, it's so weird vlogging in public. Everyone's looking at me. So what I was saying is, in the washroom, you pay, but then after you pay the fare, they spit out a voucher, like a ticket, like a nice fancy ticket. And then apparently you can use that ticket to get discounts at this restaurant here. It's called Dibis Toll or something. Can I see the... Yeah, this thing. And that's your reward for using the washroom. <laughs> okay, well, I didn't have to go. Ryan's still pooing in there. Minecraft trip and Oh, I don't have internet. I don't have Just internet. Just here in the house, there's internet. Okay, I'll, I'll give it to you later, okay? Okay. <laughs> With all the washroom and toilet shenanigans done, it was time to hop on our next train. After an hour of gliding past German fields and villages, we arrived in Nuremberg. Nuremberg's central station is located right beside the old city, so we started our exploration right away. Okay, just got to Nuremberg. Yay! Yay, Nuremberg. Why is this a special city? I have no idea. <laughs> well, our aunt and uncle used to live here, right? Oh, and yeah. did they get married here? Uh, I think so. Yeah. I've been here 13 years ago before. When I was, it was 2006, two years before she was born. Yep. I came here before. I remember some things. I remember this castle. I remember going into a castle. I don't remember which one it is. The last time I was here was a few years ago. Yeah? Two? Three? Yeah. No. Yeah, three years. Yeah. And I remember eating mustard for my first time. And it was oh. the best German mustard. Zemp? <laughs> Zemp. Zemp. Yeah, the best Zemp. Okay, well, we're going to downtown right now to go explore before we take our bus to Prague and get some food. Yeah, we have to get lunch. Bye. Okay, less talking and more exploring. We're walking into Old Town Nuremberg, so follow along as we look at what Nuremberg has to offer. After all that exploration, so we sat down at a German restaurant that my uncle recommended. Sugar in the morning! Sugar in the morning! Sugar in the morning? What does that mean? I've never heard that before, before this trip. So what does sugar in the morning mean? Well, I asked my aunt and uncle, and the phrase comes from a British short comedy film from 1963 called Dinner for One. Sugar in the morning! <laughs> Every New Year's Eve, this film is broadcasted all across Germany and has become a German New Year's tradition. 
My uncle really liked this phrase, thinking of it as a wish of new hope for the future. Sugar was once a luxury, so to be able to have sugar in the morning would be incredible. Emma likes to think that because sugar brings people joy and comfort, sugar in the morning means to start off each day with joy. Either way, sugar in the morning has become our family's way of saying cheers. Okay, enough talk. Let's eat some delicious German cuisine. Nine. Look what I just bought. Yeah, Ryan bought a silver coin. coin. Silver coin. Hi, Lenny. So, we're about to finish our time in Nuremberg because our bus to Prague leaves in about, I don't know what time it is. An hour? More right? than an hour. More yeah. than an hour, but we have to get to the station. I think the U Bahn, which is like subway station over there, we're going to take the U Bahn to the, to the train station where the buses are too. Right now, we're going to go to Prague on our way. We're going to go to the U Bahn first, the metro. And yeah, we'll see you there. We took the subway to Nuremberg's bus station, and just like that, we wrapped up our time in Nuremberg. We said goodbye to our cousins and boarded the bus that will take us to Prague. Now, get ready to enter the city of a hundred spires, a city with unparalleled beauty, Prague, Czech Republic. If you don't want to miss this drool of a city, be sure to subscribe to Travel with Tyler and we'll catch you next time.